Hello and welcome to Top 10 Mods for Fabric 116.5. First mod we're going to look at is a mod called Ghastly Well. So this is a pretty cool mod. What it will do is say you've got a portal. What we're going to do is we're going to kill a ghast in the portal. <laughs> You might see what's happened there. We've got a bunch of crying obsidian. Okay, so what I want to do now is show you sort of two mods in one. Uh, one of them is going to be Giant AI and the, the other one's going to be Ranger's Haven. So with Ranger's Haven you get a bunch of new bow enchantments. So Sharpshooter, this is going to be increased damage per block travelled. Uh, we also have Explosive. Which gives him explosive power. Roped, which is actually going to be like a grappling hook. Seeking 5 is going to be like a homing missile. Fletcher is going to split when it reaches the apex of its journey. Nimble 5 reduces the draw time. Multi shot now has more levels, which means you can shoot more arrows out of it. And piercing can now be applied to a bow rather than just the crossbow. And multi shot is going to actually be able to have various different levels. So. You can see a bunch of arrows there. So we're going to see how far this sharpshooter works. Now, you can see I've got, seven, I've got a decent amount there. Remember, I don't have any power here. We're not in range yet. It's He's, he's, he's aggro now. So let's have a look at this one. Explosive. Pretty powerful, actually. We can probably just look at roped, actually, without actually fighting an enemy. So let's just shoot an arrow over here. So you can see it's not actually going to pull you above slope, but if we do it from up here. Gives you a little boost. Certainly, it looks like using explosive arrows is pretty good against uh, giants. Here. So we now consider the seeking enchantment. We're going to shoot slightly left of this jellyfish and see what happens. So we have some uh, vex over here. Let's see if it's easy to hit the vex because that's kind of useful, right? You can see I'm not I'm not targeting them particularly accurately. But they're actually a lot easier to hit. So that's the homing one. We also have Fletchettes as well. So we look at Fletchettes. When we shoot up into the sky here, you'll notice that when it comes down, it will split at the apex. And you see there's going to be three additional arrows. We can take a look at a mod called Hit Marker. So you'll notice that the crosshair slightly changes to indicate that we've attacked. So now we have a mod called Chorus Links. So with your Chorus Fruit, you can surround it with gold to get a golden Chorus Fruit. You also have the option to surround it with gold blocks to get an enchanted golden Chorus Fruit. You can also make this item the Chorus Link with Netherite and Purple. So let's take a Chorus Link out. And let's see what happens when we just eat a regular Chorus Fruit. You'll notice we immediately teleport directly on top of the Chorus Link and that works within a range of 64 blocks. What about the Golden Chorus Fruit? Well that's going to immediately teleport you on top of a Chorus Link up to 512 blocks away. Keep in mind the Chorus Links will always teleport you directly to the nearest Chorus Link. So we have one over here, we have one over there. And you can see we went to the nearest one. Finally, we have the Enchanted Golden Chorus Fruit. You'll notice it says Unbound. If we right-click on our Chorus Link, nothing seems to happen, but it actually has happened. And it says Bound to the point there. And this will work cross-dimensionally as well. So we can bind to any Chorus Link anywhere. Okay, now we have a mod called Item Pets. So the Item Pet is 
spawned like this. So we did an end crystal, we're going to need some iron and some emeralds. Now once we create the item pet, we just have to right click on the ground. Just Here we've got the item pet. And now you can click it with a, a range of different items. And for instance, let's try shears. See what happens when we get some sheep here. And we're going to click with the shears on the item pet. And there's a range of different things that we can do. The trident now. So you can we see with the trident, the trident item pet is now shooting the end point through. The item pet is actually tame and it will follow you about. Okay. Uh, poison now. So the fermented spider eye, let's have a look at this one. You can see it turns into a little cave spider. So if we have an enemy, let's try a, a zombie here. Now, if we uh, give it a, we now give Iron Pet uh, some steak here, and it will keep you saturated. Chorus Fruit will teleport you away. Other thing we can do is, if we take away this, and we get give it a tipped arrow. You see, I've got no more arrows of swiftness, just regular arrows. We're just gonna. You'll see that the sheep now has got speed effect. And the arrow also went went after it as well. So I think there's a general like attack on the item pet. You can also give the item pet your sword and it will it will apply all the damage there. So for instance we just got a skeleton. The item pet should be able to just kill the skeleton. There you go, you can see this is the probably the more typical example. Okay, now we've got a mod called PetQI. So you'll notice, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty large sheep, right? But it still retains its AI. So the other mod I wanted to show was this mod called Shelf. This mod adds a bunch of different shelves for a variety of different wood types and stone types. And you can place down the shelf, put a bunch of different items on that. So nine items will fit on each shelf and you can just display them like that. Okay, so we've got a mod called Reroll here. So you'll notice we get this button here on the enchantment table. Reroll the enchantment list. So you can see if we put our items in, you can see we've got smite, unbreaking, knockback. If we want to reroll, we can do that. And we're going to get a different set. So this is something which a lot of people have wanted on the enchantment table. The other thing we have is a mod called power shot. So this is also pretty cool. Let's try power two now. <coughs> try shooting the glass with that. There we go. And what you can do is you can actually specify exactly how powerful. So for instance, if I take some blue ice, I actually change the config for this one. So this may not be powerful enough at power two. Let's see. It's not. So this power five boat actually can't break the blue ice. Take a power 50 boat instead though. That will be able to. So that's all for this episode, so thanks for watching.